Hey guys, Pepperami here. Today is Fajita Friday. Now, if you want to make your own wraps, I'll give you a quick rundown in this video of how to make them, but there will be a link to a standalone wrap video at the end of this video. And it will also show you how to turn your leftover wraps into tortilla chips. Now, to make the wraps, you will need three cups or 375 grams of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, a third of a cup or 80 mils of olive oil or vegetable oil, and one cup of warm water. Now add all of the wet ingredients and whisk together and then add in your dry ingredients to combine and form a dough. Now divide this into sizes appropriate for your choice. I had around 800 grams of dough, so I divided it into 10 80 gram balls. And next, form the balls by pressing the dough in the palm of your hand and making a circle with your thumb and index finger and then gently push the dough through, gripping it to pull it tight and as smooth as possible for the outer layer. Now this is going to put all of the rough folds on the inside and give you a nice smooth outer surface for your dough ball. And then simply press flat with the palm of your hands and let rest for 15 minutes to 2 hours under a tea towel. When rested, heat a large dry frying pan or skillet over medium heat and roll out the dough into rough circles. Now this can be a bit tricky to get the circle shaped and a couple of my first ones did turn out square but that is nothing to worry about. They will still taste the same and I mean fajitas are fajita, am I right? Once you have your first one rolled out, place it in a pan until it starts to bubble and then at this point you can turn it over until it starts to bubble and colour on the other side. Now you don't want to make these too dry, so just when they start to puff in colour slightly, remove from the pan and set to one side. And then just simply rinse and repeat for the rest of your tortillas. Now for the fajita filling, you will need half a cup of oil, I used extra virgin olive oil, a quarter cup or 60 mils of lime juice, now this is roughly the juice from two to three limes depending on the size of your limes, two teaspoons of cumin, this will give the fajita that taste and aroma we all know and love. One teaspoon of red pepper flakes, now you can use more or less depending on how spicy you want it to be. And here you can use whatever meat you decide. You can use 450 grams of beef steak, skinless chicken breasts, or chicken tenders. And then two bell peppers, different colors for a brighter look to the meal, and one large onion or two medium onions. Now I went for one red and one white, once again for a brighter variation of the meal. Then simply start by marinating your meat, combine the oil, lime juice, cumin and red pepper flakes in a bowl, whisk to combine and then season your chicken with salt and pepper. Now of course if you are using steak, season your steak with salt and pepper as well. And then place in the marinade making sure to fully coat and then place in the fridge for 30 minutes in up to 2 hours. Once the marinade has done its job, the chicken should look slightly white on the outside or the beef should look or feel slightly softer. This is due to the acidity of the lime tenderizing the meat. Then simply heat a tablespoon of oil in a large frying pan, add in your chicken or beef, draining off the marinade and cook until brown on both sides. Now if you are using chicken breasts, this will take about 8 minutes on both sides. If you are using diced beef or chicken tenders, this will take a lot less time. 
Now you can always cut open a piece of the chicken or the beef to see if it is cooked all the way through as we are going to be chopping this up later anyway. And then once cooked, remove from the pan, leaving any juices behind. Then simply pour in your peppers and onions and soften until they colour a bit. Meanwhile, slice your chicken or beef into bite-sized pieces or into strips depending on how you like your fajitas. And then once your peppers are cooked, add the chicken or the beef back into the pan and serve with your warm tortilla wraps. Optionally, you can put some salad or salsa over this as well. Now, the bonus of being the cook for this meal means that you get first dibs. The lime juice works really well here and it almost means that it needs no other flavorings, sauces or toppings and it works really great on its own and the homemade wraps are a nice extra touch to this dish. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing down below for more weekly videos like this. Now this is a nice simple one pot meal and it doesn't break the bank either. Anyway, I have been Pepperami, thanks for watching and I will see you all again next week.